Okay, welcome to the second part of this tutorial. In the last um, tutorial, I left you with um, permission denied. Okay, this had absolutely nothing to do with the um, HTML, PHP that we wrote, or the CSS, whatever. Um, it was the fact that uh, on one of the folders on the server side, it was not being permitted to be executed and so on um, with SE Linux. Don't worry about it. All right, it is fixed now, but it had absolutely nothing to do with the code which we've done. Your code should be working uh, perfectly fine. Okay, um, there's a few things which we need to just um, finish off with regards to the CSS. So then um, the hover effects on these columns um, and also then the um, the, UL, the wrapper or the gallery uh, UL. Um, we need to style this and also then we need to style um, these. We got, I mean, we got a interrupted by this um, permission denied. So we're just going to clean up quickly and do these things. Um, so we've got the gallery mask and we've got the left button. So let's just um, let's clean up these um, buttons first of all, shall we? So we've got um, the background image. What we do want here is on this um, left button inner is when uh, we do hover over it we want some form of uh, rollover effect. So what we're going to say is then background position is then on the left one then minus 35 uh, left and then uh, we'll just copy this one to then the right button as well so we add a hover effect on this and this is then zero okay let's come to have a look come over here and you can see that we get hover effect on these um, images inside now we want to do a hover effect on the columns themselves now, in order for us to do a hover effect, what we're going to do is we're actually going to set them um, to opacity of 0 0.2 in the beginning. And uh, then we're going to set um, do them to 0 0.5 uh, at a later stage. So we're just going to put that in here. And then we're going to say um, hover there. And we'll say left button also then hover. So we're going to put it all in one, uh, one go. All right. So we'll say opacity and then 0.5 so we're giving it some form of uh, rollover effect let's come back to here and as you can see now we're getting um, the rollover effect now in the beginning um, I don't want these columns um, displaying I only want them displaying when you actually hover over the gallery itself okay because people actually want to be able to look at the images as such they don't want these columns always there so we want to um, potentially black out this whole um, column itself so we'll just say display equals none okay we we'll copy this so the left button and the right button um, doesn't display in the beginning um, we can then sort this out by basically saying um, gallery uh, wrapper okay what well we want wrapper not mask and when you hover over that um, what we're going to do is we're going to say right button and we're going to copy this and then we're going to say uh, left button so we're applying classes or uh, more styling to then these and we're going to say display equals block all right nothing more than that uh, come back to our page and as you can see now they don't display and we just hover over and they then they come back and we hover over them and th then the actual column itself has more um, opacity and then we go over the buttons themselves okay that's that bit done uh, next thing to do would be to do the um, ul Okay, now at the moment the UL only has one image in it, so let's um, remedy that and let's put uh, more than one image in it. So let's just copy this and just put it in there, say like four times, um, just for the sake of testing. Let's come to here, let's refresh, and you won't see anything because of the fact that we've got um, this gallery mask um, has overflow hidden and it's not allowing any other um, elements to be seen. So we've just scrolled out very slightly, or even a little bit more than that and we just come down to here to firebug and you can see that all of the images to scroll out even further all of the images are displaying beneath it okay um, what we what we do want is we want them to display horizontally okay now in order for us to do this we just use, need to use some CSS so let's come to our um, gallery mask below here and let's just say gallery uh, UL first of all um, we're just going to, whoops, don't want that. We're just going to say list style type is then equal to none. And uh, height is equal to 360 pixels. Uh, width is equal to auto. And that would be perfectly fine for this. And then gallery uh, li, let's move that down. We're going to say float left, all right. And then height, 
once again it's going to be 360 pixels and then width is equal to 480 so we're statically setting the size of it um, and that's it on there let's come back to this let's give it a refresh and now we can see um, what they look like now and they are still they still sit down like this um, which is perfectly fine okay it's because we haven't set um, a width for the UL therefore it's um, it's binding itself to the gallery mask okay it's no big deal all right we know that the um, the LIs have got float left we can remedy this with JavaScript shortly okay so but that's all we need to do for now so um, the time comes now to actually populate these images in there now if you're not using server-side coding um, then don't panic because what you will need to do is just know okay all of my images are with inside of my gallery folder and use a naming convention or something and say okay so image the first image which I want to show is an image 0 then I want to show image 1 then I want to show image 2 and this scenario you'd have to do that hundred and something times okay and that would work then work perfectly fine okay um, now for the people that do want to do some um, some server-side coding what we are going to use is scan directory okay and just up the top we're going to collect all of these images using scan directory all right and like I said if you're, you're um, not a server-side coding person then you're just gonna have to hard code it yourself okay but it's potentially the gallery is exactly the same so all we're saying is server document root we're finding the document root and we know that all of the images are with inside of the gallery folder so now our images variable is an array full of loads of uh, images potentially so in here we want to basically populate s x amount or n amount of these um, LIs with all the images in so we just need to do uh, a quick test to say hey is images an array because if it's not an array we don't want to start looping through it and then come down to here and then just say end if and then our next statement which we're going to do then is say if oh sorry no, no, no. for each okay we want to loop through these images and for each um, images as a key value and then whoops let's just budge this over okay and end our for each by actually writing end for each not for each okay next thing we want to do is we want to check to see whether um, we've got the current directory or the parent directory dot and double dot okay so I'll explain this in a minute so if a value is not equal to let's type it properly not equal to dot and value is not equal to double dot and let's push that over again end our if statement what we do want to do is then if so if it's not dot or double dot we want to change this image to be able to populate the image name itself so we're just going to say echo uh, value and we're going to budge this over so it sits in the middle nicely okay so now um, I'll explain this double dot in a second and we got a nice error on 29 29 29 29 29 if that that and that 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 I'm not seeing this oh and for oh yeah there we go that's better sorry my mistake put a colon rather than a semicolon Okay, it's going to take a little bit of time to load. <coughs> excuse me, take a little bit of time to load like 100 and something images. Okay, so now you can see that we've got like a whole bunch of images down here. All right, 100 and something. And maybe it's a bit too much for the the browser to load. Um, okay, so let's explain this double dot and dot just very very quickly. And uh, let's just clear this. Okay, so this is where um, the actual website is at the moment on on the li Linux side, on the server side. Okay, um, and as you can see, we've got complete. Let me just put all these back up. So, as you can see, we've got complete CSS gallery, and then images includes JS and index.php. Okay, all perfectly fine. Now, there's some hidden things inside of here which are dot 
and double dot. Now the dot means the current directory and the double dot means go up a directory, okay, up a parent directory. So this is potentially um, what we're going to get in the listings as well. Therefore we're having to check that it's not this because they actually aren't images. So we're just saying, hey, if value is not equal to dot and value is not equal to double dot, then do something, okay? It's nothing more than that. Um, so that's that's good. Now that's basically um, our PHP um, side done and all the images are there. Uh, now we can continue with um, uh, the JavaScript. So let's just have a final a final clean up to make sure that we're all um, singing and dancing as such. Our hovers are done, our images are all there. We've got all different uh, image names, yep, video image one and 10 and so on. Okay, so they're not totally in order, um, but that doesn't matter for this. Um, okay, um, that's basically the, the, the PHP, the CSS side done. Now we've just got to implement the JavaScript, okay, which is really, really easy. Okay, I'll see you in the, um, the third part. All right, bye-bye.